Personal History DVD. Create your own personal history DVD with audio narration, background music, and motion in your pictures using Photo Story 3. Okay, getting started. The first thing you're going to need to do is download Photo Story 3 at the link provided below. Great, now you're at step two. You'll need to go and download the Roxio Sonic plugin by first paying $20, downloading, and then installing the plugin. Okay, this is just a quick screenshot of the Sonic DVD for Photo Story 3. On the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll want to click the green button that says by download. Alright, step three. You're going to want to install the Photo Story software that you downloaded, and following that, make sure you go and also install the Roxio DVD plugin that you purchased and downloaded as well. Alright, step four. Make your story. Here we go. Okay, this is the first screen that will appear when you open for Photo Story. There's three options. You can begin a new story, edit an existing project, and play a story. In this case, you're going to select Begin a New Story and then click Next in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, after clicking Next, it will bring you to the Import and Arrange Your Pictures slide. I've gone ahead and imported four photographs that you'll see on the storyboard along the bottom of this screen. You can do so by clicking the gray button in the middle of your screen that reads Import Pictures. The pictures will then slide in on the storyboard. Now there are a couple things that you can do on this screen. You'll see a little edit button which you're more than welcome to click and to go in and edit and crop the photo. Maybe even zoom in and crop to get the photo in the position that you would like. Uh, in addition to that there's also little buttons there to undo, add, or change red eye and things like that. So there are a lot of options on this screen but this is the first initial piece of you importing your pictures. After importing your pictures and clicking next, you'll next be taken to the screen that reads add a title to your pictures. This is just optional. I've gone ahead and labeled it the Jeremiah Jones family. Uh, you can do so by typing the text in the white text box in the middle center middle right hand corner of your screen. In addition to that, there's other boxes that will allow you to left or right justify and actually change the font color and font size. There is a drop down box as well underneath the photograph that says effect and you can add a charcoal or a blur or a pastel kind of effect to your picture. In this case, I just left the picture as is and added the title Jeremiah Jones Family and centered it and dropped it to the bottom uh, with a white font. Uh, which stands out pretty well in this particular photograph. Okay, this is the screen where you're going to be able to narrate your pictures and customize motion. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to start by clicking the Customize Motion button underneath the photograph. Okay, after clicking Next, it will bring you to another screen within which you can customize motion and transitions. What I've done is, uh, if you look in the left-hand side of this screen, I've clicked a checkbox that says Specify Start and End Position. I'd like the slide to start, encompassing this entire family. And then in the right-hand position, I've grabbed onto the corners of those little boxes and downsize the colored box that you'll see that's in the darker black and white on the right hand side so that it actually zooms in. In the bottom left you'll see how many seconds it will be displaying the picture and it's set automatically for five seconds. So what's going to happen is this picture on the, that you see on the left hand side is actually going to be how the picture begins and then it's going to slowly zoom in on this family and uh, give you a much more detail on their faces. Now you can, you can set the number of seconds to display the picture and that will control the zoom. I put, I selected set duration automatically, that way it just does so by default in terms of how I do the boxes. There is a tab at the upper left top you'll see that says transition. You're more than welcome to go up there and change how the slides transition. I just having them fading slowly on and off rather than anything unique. Alright, this is where we're going to want to add uh, some narration to the picture. Uh, we've already added the uh, customizing motion button underneath uh, the photograph which we've just done. Now we're actually going to add some audio to the slide. 
you can click the red button and that has the, the white button with the red dot. And I put some notes, Jeremiah, wife, Johanna, and children, Savannah, Georgia, tell about the house and the garden. So I just put some personal notes of things that would help jog my memory. Uh, you're more than welcome, obviously, to write those where you will. But as you click the white button with the red dot, it will record the audio and uniquely attach that audio to that particular slide. When you're done, you'll actually click the little button to the right of the button with the red dot on it, and that will stop it. And you can actually click the preview button there that you'll see in the middle right of your screen to actually preview just that slide and the audio. If you don't like it, you can click the little arrow button to the left of the zero, 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 zero. Those zeros won't be zeros because the, that will give you the length of your audio recording with that slide. If you don't like the way it sound or you didn't say what you wanted, well, you can just click that button and it'll basically strip the audio off and undo what you just did. Um, one thing I didn't add, if the bottom, if you look in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see some arrows. Those, are, those will allow you to click the picture and either hit the left or right arrow and move the picture to a different place along the storyline. That's also an additional way to move photographs around uh, so that they're in the order that you'd like. Okay, in order to add background music, you'll need to click the Select Music button in the upper left-hand corner and then choose the music file you'd like to add. Uh, keep in mind that you'll want to slide the volume slider in the bottom left of your screen to about 15% so that your audio voice is 100% and the song is in the background. You'll want to choose uh, Save Your Story to DVD for play playback on your home DVD player. So scroll down and select that and then click Next. Okay, after thinking for a minute, your computer will have put together the audio and the video. Uh, it does say it's created successfully, which means the video is created, it just hasn't been burned. So go ahead and click once on the Continue to Save Your Story to DVD for playback on your home DVD player now. Okay, this is kind of a unique screen. This is the Create a DVD screen. The first checkbox is the Include Picture Files. I would recommend that. That way all the photographs in your, DV in your DVD story are stored on a folder on the DVD for people that can pull them off by computer should they choose to. You'll want to go ahead and put in a DVD title. Uh, the video title is kind of like a subtitle, the actual title of the, uh, of the movie. The drive that's there will obviously be selected by default, and you'll just want to choose the number of copies of, uh, of how many DVDs you want. Uh, now you'll want to make sure that the blank DVD is already in your DVD drive at this point, and if it is and you've got everything selected there, you'll just go ahead and click the Create DVD button in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and it will start actually burning. The Personal History of Jesse Johnson by Jesse Aaron Johnson, created January 1st, 2010. In this picture is my great-great-grandfather, Jebediah Snow, on my mother's line. Jebediah is featured here with his wife, Lely, and eight children. They resided in Alabama during the 1830s, and he was a farmer and carpenter. His wife, Lely, was known for her homemade butter and jam. Rumor has it that he was the champion arm wrestler in the town of Bainbridge, Georgia during a local town event. This is a picture found in the home of Stratford Johnson, son of Jebediah Snow. It was taken of a close family that were neighbors of Stratford that the family held close and dear to them. Their names are not known, but held close to Stratford Johnson's family. This picture is of Jeremiah Jones and his wife to the left and their five adult children. This is a picture of Lulu, my great grandmother, featured here at nine years old, taken in lower Alabama in the mid-1800s.